In this video, we're going to calculate descriptive statistics for the data that we have. You can see over in column A and column B, you have height and weight data. And if you care to scroll down, you'll see how many rows of information that you actually have. To calculate basic descriptive statistics from this data very easily, what you need to do is to come up to the tabs along the top of the screen, click on data, and then uh, slide on over to the data analysis. You see the, the analysis box and the data analysis tool pack that you uh, have downloaded uh, recently. That will give us a pop-up window which will have many different options in it, some of which we'll be using later. The one that we need right now is the one that says descriptive statistics. We click on that, hit OK. It'll ask us uh, for where the information is that we're working with. And uh, the information that we're working with uh, first will come from column A, the height column. And uh, to do that, we come into this uh, input range uh, bar. Uh, we're going to click on the word height. And you can scroll all the way down to the last row of information or if you're able to you can use uh, control shift down arrow and control shift down arrow will automatically take you to the very bottom of the uh, column and it even shows here in the pop-up box that we're going from cell A1 to A531 that's the last row in that particular column um, if we scroll all the way back up we remind ourselves that we actually have non-numeric data at the very top. That's the word height. So we click on the word uh, or the, the labels in first row box to make sure it knows to ignore that one cell. Then we have to place the data somewhere. And uh, in this particular case, we can just place it anywhere. Let's just uh, stick it here in D3. So you notice when we clicked on uh, cell D3, D3 showed up in the output, and make sure that you click uh, the summary statistics box because that is the final piece of information that this system needs to know. Uh, there are many other things you could ask for, but summary statistics is the one that we're looking for. After all that, click OK, and uh, you will very rapidly get an entire set of information uh, that we can look at the mean of the entire 531 scores in height, the standard error, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, a variety of other things, some of which we'll use and some of which we won't. If you take this set of information and uh, select it, then cut it, where we're going is the calculated answers tab. And over here, we could just place it down anywhere we wish uh, because we're going to be taking information from this set of information and then placing it into this, uh, these boxes here which are required for the homework. So the N size for height, N size is the common name referring to the number of data points you have. That's count. In this particular case there's 530 data points. Then you can find the mean along the top, the standard deviation, Make sure you put in the standard deviation, not the standard error. That is an entirely different statistical measure. Um, and uh, after that, just go back to the height weight data slide and redo the entire process again with weight. Take your information from weight, bring it back to calculated answers, fill in the information that you need, and then move on with the next set of instructions for the homework.